Hey everyone, Charlene Bauer at Ladies Off Road Network, and we are live at five. It is a Tuesday night, and it is time to rock and roll. Yes, it is. Uh, so, what do you guys think? It's almost like it's winter. Sorry to tell you, I actually don't have shoes on or socks, but check out this fancy jacket. I'm going to tell you how you can get one. We have the hugest hugest live going on tonight in a long long time so i hope that you are ready for this we have january's giveaway we have the impact we have the convention that we're going to talk about i'm going to tell you about saturday night's theme i hope that you're ready everybody's ready for the convention we're going to talk about king of the hammers we're going to talk about february's networking event uh resolution Ooh, and i got a special deal on the resolution going on right now and i even have a special guest mm -hmm. but first check it out i thought i'd show you somewhere new tonight this is uh a, another space in the office uh that i have big posters up so this is two of them the craigslisticon which we've been working on and uh then this is ruby uh or brute one of the uh bfg jeeps and then down the ways is Ruby. There's a couple other posters up too. Anyways, all pictures that I've taken and uh, put up along the way. So, are you guys ready to rock and roll? Say your hellos. Make sure you're all saying hellos. Okay. Huh. What do we want to start with? Giveaway, impact, convention, King of the Hammers, February networking, or resolution. I've been arguing with myself about this all day. Uh, let's start with networking. Let's start with networking. Okay, networking events. Holy cow, I am so happy with how our networking week went last week. Thank you guys so much for participating, for being a part, for being awesome, for being all of those things, right? Um, January, last week, we were in Kansas, Michigan, North Carolina, New Mexico, Oregon, Florida, Ohio, and Arizona, thanks to Wendy, Julie, Carrie, Sarah, Catherine, Rachel, Taylor, Tabby, Sheila, Jody, and Erica. Yes, all those ladies did it. They put it down. They made it happen. Uh, I got to join in and talk to all the ladies across the country, which was so much fun. I love that, by the way. It's one of my highlights of the month is actually getting to talk to everybody. So huge hearts to January's networkings. That was 10 networkings across the country. We, uh, I feel really good about how it went. We put in some new systems, we put in some new plays, and they worked. And I'm really, really excited about that. So with that being said, we have released February's schedule. Uh, you may have tripped across it last week because I had it up ready before uh, the networkings last January, or last week for January. But I officially, officially launched it uh, this morning, late, late last night, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, so February's networking week is the 18th, 19th, and 20th. Check this out. 15 of them. Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Illinois, Kansas, Kentucky, Michigan, North Carolina, New Mexico, Ohio, Tennessee, Virginia, and Washington. Yes, yes, yes. Camille, Andrea, Lisa, Trisha. Tamika, Kathy, Arlie, Julie, Laura, Jamie, Jody, Marissa, Stephanie, Esther, and Cheryl are the ones taking the lead. Of course I had to cheat. Are you kidding me? There's no way I could have remembered that. <laughs> so everybody throw down some hearts for February. Tell me which one that you're going to. I see actually quite a few of our hosts on here. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Uh, everybody's got their networking event launched up. So now it's all about telling people for the next couple weeks. Uh, Gabe and I shot a video at the Arizona uh, networking event last Thursday. <laughs> and so the poor Arizona girls are like, what is she doing? Especially the new ones. I'm like, don't worry, this isn't normal. <laughs> so we shot this how-to video and those are going to be coming up over the next couple weeks as I can get them uh, edited down and out in public. So I'm really excited about that as well. So lots going on. That's the networking. Get out, talk to ladies. Uh, I couldn't, I was so happy time after time. I was talking to a couple of the new ladies. They're like, this is so cool. I get to meet other offered ladies. It's like, yes, 
yes, yes, yes. That's the whole point. So bring a friend and enjoy it. Okay. All right. Um, I'm also going to give a shout out to Stephanie from New Mexico, who is traveling during the networking week. And she was going to Memphis, Tennessee. And she's like, Hey, Charlene, uh, is there one going on there? Is anything happening? I'm like, no, but you know how, so why don't you host one? <laughs> so she's actually taking the lead. She reached out to some of the girls in that local area. She's going to take the lead on hosting one in Memphis, Tennessee, teaching the other girls there how to do it so that they can now maintain their own. So if you're interested in doing something like that and jumping into another environment and helping us help those girls understand that these are easy and they're fun, uh, reach out and let's work together at making that happen. So another bam, bam, nice work. All right. So that is networking off the list. What's next? Giveaways, impact, convention, King of the Hammers, resolution. Um, let's talk about King of the Hammers really fast because that is woo, coming up really fast. <laughs> like I'm, everything's a disaster. We're in out mode right now. Everything is going out the door <laughs> right now. Uh, King of the Hammers. Well, might as well put on my fluffy jacket because I'll be wearing this for the next week and a half straight, I'm sure. Probably never be taking it off. Look how fluffy this is. Look, even fluffy arms, fluffy, 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 fluffy. Can you see the back? Yeah, fluffy. All right, so now we're in King of the Hammers mode. <laughs> we'll probably be sweating here in a minute. Uh, King of the Hammers mode. Everybody, every lady on the lake bed is please uh, invited to come to our education. So on Monday from 10 to 1, we have education at the BFG garage. We are going to be changing tires. Uh, we're going to be plugging tires with BFG. Raceline will be there. They're going to be talking about wheels. They're going to be letting you play with bead locks and how they actually work. And Amsoil is in. They are going to give me enough oil to where we can change the oil on Frankie multiple times. And we're going to change Scott Douglas's oil in his Jeep. And he is a uh, Off-Road Motorsports Hall of Fame short course racer. And so he will be there. And he's like, well, can we get the oil changed in my Jeep too? I'm like, but of course, Scott, we would love to change the oil in your Jeep. So I'm really excited about that. Um, that's happening Monday, 10 to one. You can come anytime throughout that time. Everything will kind of just like start every half hour on something different. So you don't have to be there the whole time, but of course I encourage you to be there the whole time because then you get to meet other ladies as they come through as well, right? Uh, Tuesday, 10 to 1, we're going to meet at the Warren booth, which is in town, and we're going to do winching. We're going to talk about all of the winch gear, and we are going to do lockers and gears. So winching is with Warren, lockers and gears is with Yukon, and then I'll have all of the tools out to where you guys can touch and feel and understand what needs to happen, uh, and we'll have some of the Warren gear out as well. So that will be on Tuesday, again, 10 to one, come pass through, get yourself in there. And of course, you know who my partners are, right? They like to give you cool stuff. So I would get there early because you wanna get there early and you wanna get the cool stuff. Uh, plus at 11.30, I think is the time, it's written on the, on the website, 11.30, I think on both of those is when we're doing our group shop. So I'd love for everybody to be there at that moment <laughs> so we can make that group shot really awesome. I want you to be a part of it. Um, then on Thursday from 9 to 12, this is our big dog day. Every lady in the lake bed I want at the BFG garage so that we can do a lake bed ladies fuel up. Uh, normally, if you've been around us in the past, we've done fuel ups every single morning at Full of Parts. Uh, it was just too much with all the everything that we have going on. So we're doing one and then we're going big with it. Coffee, tea, hot chocolate, goodies, bring goodies, do whatever you want to do. And that will be at the BFG garage from nine to noon uh, on Thursday. Again, pass through, come for a little bit, come for a long time and stay for three hours and meet all kinds of awesome ladies. We'll have fire pits going. Trust me, if it's cold, it will not be cold where I am. 
<laughs> that's why we're gonna hang out there because I know where all the heaters are I know where all the fire pits are I don't like being cold so if it's cold just know that we're warm so you should come hang out with us <laughs> all right um, so that is for everyone then we have the VIP experience the VIP experience is for our ladies off-road network members uh, you will, first of all, get this very selective and amazing jacket, sweatshirt jacket. It's like a sweatshirt material, but it is a jacket. I am hot right now. It's fluffy, it's fuzzy, and it's Ladies Off Road Network. Only VIP people for King of the Hammers will be able to grab this jacket. Um, and you will also get a Ladies Off Road Network hat, one of the three styles that is already up online. So you'll be able to choose which one you want. Um, the VIP includes uh, Tuesday night from 6 to 10. We, you will be my VIP guest. I gotta take this off. Can't do it. <laughs> uh, you'll be my VIP guest at a special dinner party um, <clears throat> on Wednesday from 10 to 1. Actually, let's skip that. Let's go to Thursday. From 6 to 10, you'll be my VIP guest at a very special dinner that's being built just for us. And then on Wednesday, from 10 to 1, we're going to do a pit walk. So this is going to be fun. So you will get uh, two VIP dinner invites <clears throat> with me. And then on Wednesday, from 10 to 1, we'll do a pit walk. Now, we'll decide where we're going to meet. Um, it'll be somewhere in the pits, probably four wheel parts. In fact, let's just declare that. We'll meet at four wheel parts at 10 o'clock for our pit walk. And, um, you don't know who we're going to meet, where we're going to go, who's like, whose tent we're going to bop into. Uh, but I guarantee you we'll probably meet at least one of the Kings. Uh, you'll get to meet all kinds of awesome people that are a strategic part of King of the Hammers. And you'll see things that you have never been able to see before. So anybody that's been on a VIP walk with me or anybody that's just walked with me through an event like this knows what that's all about. And I'm really excited to give that to the group. Uh, so we should have a lot of fun with that as well. So this is uh, the VIP experience. You get the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning stuff, plus then the Tuesday and Thursday nights. Uh, if you are planning on camping with us, that's even a next step because then that's like, hey, I'm going to go do this. You want to come hang out? Hey, I'm going to go here. You want to go there? Or, hey, Charlene, get off your laptop and let's go do this. <laughs> Take us over here. So it can go both ways. Um, so that's the camping experience, too. If you do want to camp with us, you need to let me know ASAP so that we can just plan on space. That's the only challenge there. Uh, go to ladiesoffroadnetwork.com slash 2020-KOH, and that will give you all the details and the links in order to register. So make sure you guys are on task with that. All right? It is going to be a awesome week. I can hardly wait. And you'll see me moving, literally moving out there in just a couple days. So that's King of the Hammers. Yay! I am taking this off now. Last shot. Oh, by the way, look, it's like a letterman's jacket. See? It has these fancy pockets. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I hate being cold. We are not going to be cold. And this is a large that I have on, by the way, too. So they're true to size for anybody that's uh, looking and judging and needing to register and tell me what their size is. Okay, that's that. King of the Hammers. Um, giveaway impact convention and resolution is next. Let's talk about the convention next since we're on to this whole, uh, this whole let's go cool places thing. So the convention, ladies off road convention is what? July 30th to August 2nd, uh, July 30th to August 2nd. And it's going to be in Michigan this year. It is not something that you need a vehicle for. It is something you just need to fly in for. If you go to our ladiesoffroadconvention.com website, you will be able to understand exactly where you need to fly in, what the dates are, times, all that kind of stuff. All that detail is right there for you. I'm not gonna dig into that right now. What I wanna dig into is Saturday night. Saturday night is our 
gala night. It's an exciting night. So exciting. Saturday during the day, we're on an adventure. We go out. We go do all kinds of cool things. Might even get a little dirty this year. Just saying. And then Saturday night, we're going to bring you back in time to get all gussied up. Uh, Saturday night's our big fancy dinner. And with that, it's because we are celebrating. We're celebrating so many things. Not like we don't celebrate the entire rest of the time, but we're celebrating our challenge. So the top 10 ladies will be announced that night from our challenge. Uh, we're celebrating leadership certifications. That's new for this year. So our leaders will be walking across the stage and accepting their certificate for the year because it's an August to August step zone. And as everything big about Ladies off Road Network is celebrated that night and you are celebrated that night because it's all part of that. So I'm really excited to announce the theme for Saturday night. <clears throat> Come on, everybody. Are you guys ready for this? I mean, it's so fitting. I mean, that's kind of a word that goes along with this too, but it's so fitting. <laughs> Are you ready? The theme for Saturday night is of course, is of course, the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> it's gonna be a Roaring Twenties, but also on top of that, it's going to be Auto City. So Roaring Twenties and Auto City is going to be a nice and aggressive and fun mix that we're going to play with. So Roaring Twenties, Detroit, Auto City, uh, we're going to have some awesome, awesome times. Um, I think it gives ladies that want to wear dresses and get all gussied the opportunity to get all gussied and ladies that say, I am not putting a dress on. The opportunity to be just as successful and uh and doing the auto city theme as well so between the two we are going to have an absolute blast keep it into the 20s auto city girls and uh, let's do this and do it fun so that is the one what do you guys think roaring 20s auto city yes yes i know it's gonna be so much fun uh if you haven't already you can put your deposit in. You want to put your deposit in at minimum, if not pay for the whole thing ahead of time, because what that does is that puts you in line and you're getting in line in order to take advantage of the seminars that are coming out. There's some seminars that will only be available to 10 to 20 people, just purely based on space. So being in that list is going to be really important and being available for that. All right. Um, so that's what that's all about. That's why you want to get in as soon as possible, get committed, and make it work. All right, so that's it. Uh, Roaring 20s, Auto City theme for Saturday night's convention. We do have Thursday night and Friday night. We'll get uh, going on those themes later, but I wanted to get everybody geared up and ready to start shopping away for Saturday night. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun. I love the gala. Okay, on to the next thing. Whew. Uh, giveaway impact and resolution. Let's talk about the impact next. I am loving the impact scene that we had and I'd like to show you the bowl. Grandma's uh, grandma's bowl. I went through and uh, printed off all of the impacts that were put in there and what I really love about this program is that some of you took a moment and talked positively about yourself. It wasn't just about everybody else. And I'm really proud of you for that because that's difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult to do. So the impact program is something that we started that's brand new this year. And it's a link on our website, ladiesoffroadnetwork.com slash impact. And then that will take you into Wild Apricot. You must be a member to participate. And that will give you the opportunity to say, hey, this person, this member really impacted me this month or this uh, happened to me and I'm proud of it and I wanna tell somebody about it. And so you talk about how you did something that impacted. And um, between those two, we had, I think about 20 is the total in here for January, which I'm excited about, um, including all the ladies that impacted me and helped out here in the office this month. 
there's no way I'd be where I was today without the ladies that helped out too. So uh, make sure that you guys at least jump in there and go read them. I did put at the bottom, January is closed, so you can't add any more, but I already launched February's. So as of right now, February's is open. So now you can start putting people's uh, information and or your own successes in there, even though it's January, it doesn't matter. We do first month to last month. Oh my God, you just scared the heck out of me. Uh, hey. <laughs> but we have a special <laughs> guest. <laughs> you were about to do something really important, oh weren't you? <laughs> she was about to do something totally important and I just busted in oh, here. Oh, you scared the heck out of me. Did I? I'm Yay. sorry. Everybody's Hi. Spooky. Hi, in everyone. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for interrupting. <laughs> So Bogey was uh, in the office doing voiceovers for the resolution. Mm -hmm. Yay, everybody is on the resolution. <laughs> How, um, what did you think? That was fun. It's awesome. I know. It's totally <laughs> awesome. You guys are going to love it. <laughs> so we shot five more uh, resolutions on Saturday at Bogey's Garage, which was a blast. Yes. The uh, Jeeps did not fit in with the fancy trucks that were there. <laughs> but I do have my own Jeep now. She's a Jeep girl. Don't Just tell anyone. Mm, even though she doesn't like it. I'm like, you're a Jeep girl now. She's like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm like, just yes, a, you are. I'm just a broken car girl. I just like fixing things. I don't care what it is. <laughs> so what am I interrupting? Are you doing oh. something fun and exciting? Yeah, perfect timing. Ooh, do I get to pick? You get to pick. Am I going to pick a winner? Isn't this the perfect timing? This was perfect See? timing. See, everything happens for a reason. So what we're going to do is I put all of the impacts. So these are all ladies that either um, they had a very huge success that they told us about nice. this month or somebody as a member impacted them. And so they posted it. I love that. Yeah. And so now we you put guys do all the coolest stuff. Oh, we should tell them what they get, though. Hold oh, yeah. What do we get? So we call it a bragging bag. That's what the girls okay. came up with. And by the way, spoiler alert, this is not a car. What a cool bag, huh? There's, there's oh, a whole car in there? But you don't get the bag. The bag has to stay. <laughs> She's not fun. <laughs> so, in the bag, I thought it was fully appropriate for January. Okay. You get a hammock. <laughs> for January? Yeah. Is this just to make you sad that it's cold where you are? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's nice here. We can hang out on our hammock. Yes. So uh, this is a base camp hammock. It's a BFG hammock. Very cool. So you have that. Of course. Summer dreaming. You definitely get an I'm not just a girl cup for your Kool-Aid that you're going to drink while you're in your hammock. And we don't want you to get sunburnt. So you have a very fancy um, Champa. <laughs> so, awesome mm -hmm. totally kool-aid you're drinking in there yeah kool-aid mm -hmm. <laughs> for our january because <laughs> <giveaway. laughs> that's what because we're all about preparing for spring because that's summer. what struck me yeah yes. this is what was absolutely necessary absolutely clearly to sell who wins to celebrate your success yes i, I get to pick one i'm so glad I don't oh my god to pick it all right, don't hate me if I didn't pick you. Mix them all up. Get those bottom ones ah, mixed. Are you guys ready for this? And oh my god, I'm gonna let you do the honors. Okay, that okay. way, it's equally you. Equally. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so this is from Ashley Jance. So Ashley Jance wrote this, and it's for. Tamika Wilstead. Aww. So congratulations to our lawn member, Tamika Wilstead, on winning the 2020 Winter Wonderland Jeep, Jeep and Gypsy Adventure. I haven't personally met Tamika, but I'm cheering her on from Tennessee and over the moon excited for her to be able to partake in these upcoming adventures. Proof that hard work and dedication has a way of bringing us amazing experiences and opportunities. Never stop chasing your dreams, girl. Amen. Right? That's awesome. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Yay! So Tamika is actually coming out to King of the Hammers. Her nice. and Marissa are staying in the bead with me. It should be a very full house. Nice. <laughs> I love, can I just say before I duck out of here yeah. and leave, I love the community that you guys have and the support you have for one another and just the camaraderie. I just think it's so awesome and accolades right? to you. Isn't it fun? 
for yeah. having fostered this community yeah. and created this and accolades to all of you because the community is nothing right. without all of you. Like she could be doing all of this in a vacuum and it not <laughs> doing anything, but you guys jumping in, participating, taking it seriously, mm -hmm. taking it to heart, making this part of your life. Um, it's just, it's such a beautiful thing and I think it's so rad and I have a whole ton of love and respect for all of you. Yeah. And Girl Gang Garage is doing similar and different. Similar so, but different. Similar but very different. Yeah. And uh, working on vehicles and all kinds of other stuff, but don't worry ladies, we got this for you. We got a plan. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The worst thing about putting us together is we come up with more ideas. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of dangerous. We're not allowed to come up with any new ideas for at least another six months. Yeah. La 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 No new ideas. All right, I'm going to oh, get out of here and let Yay. you hang out some more. I appreciate Love you. Love you. Love you too. All right. Bye, guys. Yay. Wait, not forget my wallet. Yeah, good That's point. important. All, All right. right. You're solid? I'm solid. All right, we'll talk later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So there's our special guest. I wasn't sure when she was going to drop in because we had voiceovers going on in the other room. And uh, yeah, so when you get to watch the videos, you'll know that that was happening. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the power steering one is what she did last. So I was live while well, she was voicing over power steering. If you hear me in the background, it's just going to be kind of entertaining. <laughs> All right, back to you. Back to impact. Um, <clears throat> I almost want to read all of these because every single one of them is so important and Tamika might get the gift bag, but that doesn't mean that these are any less important. All right. So please go and read the January one, support the people that are in there for January. And also make sure that you take a minute and either find something great about yourself for February or find somebody, a member that impacts you in February. Um, there's a lot of resolution stuff going on right now where you guys are working together. I can see that as being a really awesome opportunity for you to engage with another member, even if it's online, right? Even if it's somebody that's just supporting you online. So that's our impact program. I'm really happy and let's keep that one rolling. Keep it rolling. Okay. What's next? Hmm. Giveaway or resolution? Well, I'm pretty sure you guys know what's going to happen next. Resolution. <laughs> so we just had Bogey here. We uh, shot five more videos on Saturday at her shop, which was really exciting. There's, there's levels, right? Like she's a full tilt mechanic. I am not. You should not be learning some of this stuff from me. You need to be learning this stuff from the right people. And that's what's very important about how we're putting things together. Um, so on Monday, we released two more resolutions. One, I have to ask you, did you even know there was a cabin filter in your vehicle? I want to know right now. Did you even know there was a cabin filter? <laughs> and if you did, have you ever even thought about changing it? Really, right? So this is the cabin filter. And then we also talked about fuel filters. Now, luckily for us in the smelly worlds, that we live in, most all fuel filters are actually in the fuel tank. So it's not truly a maintenance item anymore, but I still wanted to talk about it because some of the older vehicles and some of our dirt bikes and such have what we call inline fuel filters. So I wanted you to get familiar with them. I also wanted you to get familiar with all of these additives that people talk about. Like you just go look at the store and there's two full shelves of additives for the fuel. It's like, what is an octane booster? What is a fuel cleaner? And what is a fuel stabilizer? And what are all these things? So all of that stuff is in there, all right? And I just really, even though we're not physically necessarily doing anything, there's still inspections that you should still do. We wanna inspect those fuel lines, make sure they're not cracking, make sure they're not leaking. That's a bad plan and so forth and so on. So these are the two, these uh, wrap up our filter section as far as uh, the resolution is concerned and how to work on your vehicle. Yay? Yay. All right. <clears throat> some do not have filters. I just saw that with Jessica. So yes, some do not have filters and others do. On the resolution, here's the deal. I'm probably going to hate myself for this, but I'm doing it anyways. 
<sighs> For one, I just want to tell you, we still have 14 more <laughs> resolutions to go. Meaning on, uh, on set on next Monday, we release three more. We continually boom, 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 boom. We still have 14 more to release out to you, which is feels aggressive maybe more aggressive on my part than on your part, but there's a lot going on. <laughs> All right. Um, I really like took a seat back for a minute and said, I want every girl doing this. And I talked to people at the networking events last week and I'm like, this girl wants to do it. <clears throat> this girl wants to do it. This girl is going to a party and helping out, but she's not part of the resolution. And uh, so I did. I opened the gates, I let a girl in, uh, I back, backdoored her in, and uh, allowed her to come into the resolution yesterday. It was so easy, I said, why am I keeping these doors closed? I want every lady to learn this stuff. Why am I, why are these doors closed right now? So I'm opening the doors back up to the resolution, but with some asterisks. Some pretty serious asterisk marks right next to it okay everybody happy about this here's the deal asterisk 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 if you have a friend you have somebody you haven't been able or wasn't able to sign in to the resolution you now have the opportunity to do that <clears throat> with these asterisk marks situations number one you need to be a member Okay, this is a member scenario. So I'm letting the members back in. That means that it'll be 3510. It, at this point, I can't do all the paperwork in order to let you have your free class. It's 3510, trust me on this. The other asterisk to it is you'll have access within 24 to 48 hours. So I'm not sitting at my laptop ever, really but I'm definitely not sitting at my laptop, especially in the next couple weeks. So you gotta give me a couple minutes in order to give you access to get into it. And the third asterisk is you'll get your package, but it won't be for at least two weeks. <laughs> and there is nothing in that package that you absolutely and dramatically need in order to be successful at starting that resolution. All right? So I am really happy. Oh. Here we go. We're in stealth mode because we were on voiceover mode. <laughs> Hello, Piston. Hello. So <clears throat> that's why I was like watching over here because I knew he was there and I knew I had that glass of water. We just weren't sure what was happening. All right. So I am very happy. If you have a friend, let them know. Um, the link on the website is not active yet. I have everything else activated. I need to go and finish that. Uh, Bogey showed up just as I was finishing getting everything reworked back in. So that link will be back up. It will be, and the asterisks will be right there. Basically, you have access. You just gotta have a few minutes of patience with us in the beginning to get you access and we'll get you up and going. And I'm really excited about that today. I am really, excited about that today all right um so that's that plan resolution is back open here's how i feel about this in the bigger picture it's not as much of a, a contest challenge any of those types of things where i don't feel like anybody that's putting effort in is going to have the same amount of effort and the same amount of time so if they complete three or four challenges and they get their name in the bucket three or four times, then that's awesome. Um, if they don't, then that's fine. So I don't think that it's throwing anybody off that started on time or early as far as that piece of the pie goes. Um, if anybody feels differently, feel free to reach out to me, but I think that this is okay. I'd much rather let people have this information than hold it back. All of this class will be available in March um, and it will be available as a full kit for $299. Yep, you'll get a discount as a member, but it's not going to be the 3510, right? 
So just kind of putting that back out there to you. Just giving my insiders a little insight. <laughs> All right, but you gotta be a member. So that's that plan. Um, so we've done February networking. Make sure you look it up. We got 15 around the country. We have done the King of the Hammers. Piston just made a nice nap on the jacket, so I'll show you that in a minute again once he decides to leave. We have done the convention and how Saturday night is going to be the Roaring Twenties and Auto City theme. Uh, we have done the Impact Award. Uh, we have done the resolution and the filters and opening it back up. And guess what that leaves? That leaves us with our giveaway. You guys ready for this? Yay! Okay, giveaway time. So, first of all, we have our Yukon giveaway. So it's $250 towards a diff cover and other good stuff, that compliments of Yukon, which again will be one of our guests on what day? Tuesday. Tuesday at the Warren booth when we do our winching and gears and differentials and all that good stuff. So who wants this one? Anybody? Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And then we have our Crawl Magazine or Trails Magazine. Yes. You get to decide which one fits your styling. And then we have our set of Coyote Deflators, which we've talked about these in our trail training class but they uh, allow you the opportunity to just end up airing down easily. All right. Yeah. So what do we want to give away first? Oh, and look, it's grandma's, it's, this is the new grandma's bowl. I don't think you guys have seen this bowl yet. So this is the new grandma's uh, salad bowl that we were talking about because we outgrew the other one. We outgrew this one for all of our big stuff so we have to go to the new bowl so this is the new bowl <clears throat> we have a hundred uh, ladies entered as of like an hour and a half ago and i printed um i printed off all the sheets and um nicole actually was here last night she cut them for me and then i cut the final two sheets this morning so this is all hundred ladies that said, I want to win, I want to win, I want to win, which is so much fun. I love it. Hopefully you guys got in there. And Steph, I saw you on there. You made it just in time. Yes, yes. So exciting. <laughs> I know, it's so exciting. Okay, so how about we start off with the magazines. So Crawl Magazine and Trail Magazine, you don't get both. You get one of one or the other. You guys tell me which one you want. This is more your aggressive buggy style. This is more your JK overlanding style. Just depends on what you want to learn more about. And the winner is this one. <clears throat> the winner is Emily Evans. Emily Evans. She says, I want to win the deflators or the magazines. Yay, Emily, you just won the magazines. <laughs> I love it. This is from January 7th is when she registered. So, Emily, let me know. Trailer crawls. Yay to Emily. Okay, next one. Let's do the Coyote Deflators. Coyote Deflators. And here we go. Here we go. Oh, how about this one? This is the bottom of the pager. Oh, a top of the pager. Tabby Kelly. Tabby Kelly. And it literally says, I would love to win the Coyote Deflators. <laughs> Wish all the ladies best of luck competing in Grandma's Salad Bowl. How awesome is that? We're doing it. We're two for two right now. Yes. Yay. I mean, and clearly I'm not rigging this. All right. Tabby, good job. Yay! Okay, I know how this is gonna work. Justin, let me have this jacket for a second. Oh, I know, I'm so grumpy right now. My jacket. <clears throat> I want 
to show you guys this again for those anybody that came in late this is the new ladies off road network jacket slash sweatshirt it's really a jacket more than it is a sweatshirt super fluffy super fluffy we got our name on the back name on the front this is your vip king of the hammers experience sweatshirt and hat that you get i mean it's not the hat too but you understand what i'm saying so that is the sweatshirt uh slash jacket that you get as part of doing the vip experience um and that's the only way you can get one at least as of this moment and maybe for a while so i just want to make sure Everybody saw that. It's pretty fancy. If you see them running around the lake bed, you know that they are definitely a part of Ladies Offered Network. So very excited to have that uh, going on right now. We're working on more fun things for you too. We're working at it. We're working at it. All right. <clears throat> are we ready for the Yukon giveaway? Are you ready? <laughs> I loved seeing somebody say, uh, I didn't know, I actually saw this note, I didn't know that I wanted to win that differential cover until I did the resolution. And that was like a pure win for me. I'm like, heck yes, love it. So education at its best right there. All right, back to grandma salad bowl, here we go. Let's see if we can go three for three on somebody wanting the Yukon cover. This one. <clears throat> well, here it is. <laughs> this is funny. Pamela Nelson says, I want all of it. <laughs> well, Pamela Nelson now is one step closer to her ultimate Toyota build with a differential cover from Yukon Gear and Axle. So very exciting. She is actually in a build year this year, so talk about timing. We'll see how this works out for her, and hopefully we'll be able to watch her install this as we are doing cool things throughout the year. So yay to Pamela Nelson and her I want all of it, which luckily includes a Yukon diff cover <laughs> uh, for all of this goodness. So yay! All right, with that being said, you set that down so I don't lose the papers. Um, the next giveaway, February's giveaway, will be announced next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, we will be at King of the Hammers. And it happens to be somebody that is very um, involved in King of the Hammers, for sure, as a partner. Uh, it is also probably not, not at all glamorous no it's not a glamorous giveaway at all not at all mm -mm. but it's gonna make us very smart <laughs> yeah we're gonna learn a lot next month during February as we go through and understand why this giveaway is important um, even though it may not have the bling and the flair and the beauty of some other things that maybe uh, you would want more. But this is actually really important and really cool. So I'm really excited to talk about the giveaway next Tuesday night when we're here live. Not here. We'll be at King of the Hammers in the dirt. Not there either. That's Those are in Arizona. Yeah, we're going to be in the dirt. That's where we're going to be. All right, that's what I got. What questions do you got for me? What questions? Where are my questions? Yay. All right, any questions? Um, I am extremely excited about reopening that resolution. Make sure that your friends know, especially people that were at the networking event last week. Um, I know a lot of ladies were like wanting to after hearing about it. So let's make sure you help me get that word out. I would definitely appreciate it. Um, the other business is March networking is open right now. So make sure that you have any kind of March, um, March opportunities are getting put in right away. Uh, so make sure that that's happening. 
Yes, Marissa, piston and oil are absolutely coming to King of the Hammers. They never miss it. They have never, they have not missed one yet. <laughs> uh, Tabby, no, the jacket will not go on the website, at least as of now. Um, it's strictly for the VIP opportunity at King of the Hammers is what I have them for. Um, when will the selected cities for the three-day event be announced? Interesting question, Esther. That's a great question, actually. I have no idea. Yep, I don't know. Uh, something else just got put on my plate this week, and I'm glad I have not released those three-day events yet. So I think, uh, yeah, let's leave it at that. I don't know when they're going to be announced yet, but I'm glad that they haven't been announced yet because I think we might have just dropped into another really interesting opportunity to be successful. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Trust me, everything I do is for you guys. <laughs> everything. So I'm just making sure that we maximize the exposure and the opportunities for you for sure. Uh, Ashley is doing networking. Awesome. Uh, summer, what about the resolution? The resolution is I reopened the gates. So if you have a friend or somebody that wants to do it, make sure that they have the opportunity to do it. Um, oh, great question, Cheryl, which also gives me a another date here. I didn't write it down. Um, I will leave this the resolution open, I believe, until February 28th. So just for the month of February, that will be available for people to grab, knowing that in March it's coming out as another package, right? <clears throat> so even if they're not playing the resolution game, I'll allow our members to play the intelligent game. And then the um, and then in March, the first week in March, I believe it's the 7th, if the dates work out right. I don't have my planner right here with me. But I believe it's a seven. It's whatever that Friday is, is the last day of the resolution. So I know and I'm loving that you guys are putting your pictures in because I go and look at them. I've been having all kinds of fun looking at them. And I also want to give a major shout out to Tiffany because she is working on her dirt bike. Have you guys noticed that? So she's taking everything that we're doing and adjusting it and doing it for her dirt bike. I'm like, heck yeah, girl, you go. I love it. I love it. So of course she's doing some research on her own, just like you guys are doing some research on your own and it's working out just perfectly awesome. Um, so happy about that. Anyways, focus Charlene. So get your pictures in uh, sooner than later because that in itself, as we all know, is its own little project, right? And I love seeing it and we have an internal plan here how to start logging them. So I just wanna make sure that we start getting everybody logged in because of course, again, it's going to be giveaway time here shortly, right? Um, and what that is, is for every resolution that you complete and you post the pictures for, your name goes into the, into grandma's bowl. And we're definitely going to have to use this bowl. I guarantee you. Um, and then we'll have prizes that you can win. So we'll have more announcements on those prizes in the middle of February or so. I don't want you to focus on the prizes. I want you to focus on being successful at your resolutions, which... By the way, if you haven't already, make sure that you send me your 2020 goals, uh, your accountability partner. Thank you for being my accountability partner as I've been getting these resolutions up every Monday. Thank you, Cheryl, for also being my accountability partner. And we uh, and you can email me, mail me your, your goals for 2020. So it's P.O. Box 7506. Mesa, Arizona, 85216, which is all over the website. Um, or if you're super not into stamps, you can email it to me, but just make sure you really title it well so I can print it and put it in the stack, okay? All right. Mm, lots more information there than what the one question was. Other questions? Questions, questions, questions. Yeah, check the chatter for wrenching parties to complete tasks, set up wrenching parties. Make sure you guys are getting in there. There's a lot going on and it's fun. Um, when does the March meeting need to be in by? Uh, I just wrote it down too. Somebody have their planner? 
Does somebody have their planner on them? Can you just look at that date really fast? It's not going to be the 14th because the 14th is a Saturday. But it's always, it's literally, here's, here's the method, all right? It's always the Wednesday before the networking week. So if February's networking week is 18, 19, 20, it's literally the Wednesday before that. And what that's doing is that's, hopefully, I have that weekend to get everything ready so that by the time you guys all get together for your networking week, you know where your uh, next one is going to be. So everybody can talk about the next one. So that's, that's the purpose. All right. <laughs> that's the purpose. Uh, King of the Hammers. <clears throat> All right. What else? What else? What else? What else? Questions, questions, questions. Hmm. Yeah, I love that you guys are not working on them together. I, I like that you guys are working on them together. And I also am really impressed with the ladies that are just like, I'm going out by myself and it's cold out there. <laughs> There's some ladies in the back, they're like, in the east, I mean, not in the back, in the east. And they're like, Charlene, it's freezing outside and then we don't heat our garage, so we're just going to wait a little bit. I'm like, I totally get it. It's fine. Just do your reading, do your understanding, get your stuff so that when that day comes, you're ready to rock and roll. <clears throat> All right. Love it, love it, love it. Any other questions? Any other questions? What else you guys got? Or are we good to go? <laughs> I'm about to be resolutionized. Nice. Alice means, that means Alice is getting on the gas, ladies, so watch out. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Um, directions to where you will be on Sunday. What Sunday? Oh, if you're talking King of the Hammers, Lisa, we'll talk about that later. That's easy peasy. It's the most easiest place you'll ever be able to find at King of the Hammers. All right. All right. Anything else? Oh, Dulcie says she's in that cold issue and she's in California or Arizona. Um, okie dokie. So any other great questions? Any other great questions? We've been wearing snowsuits while she's outside. So that's part of our safety, right? <laughs> it's like we're either in absolute, uh, in flip-flops, tank tops, and shorts, or we're in snowsuits, one of the two. I love it. No other questions? You guys are good for me? All right. Well, help me, um, help me this week in letting people know about King of the Hammers, um, letting people know about the February networking events coming up, letting people know that the resolution is back opened up, and that our convention on Saturday night is going to be the Roaring Twenties Auto City. I think that's going to be awesome. Uh, congratulations to all of our winners. So Tamika is our impact winner, but please go and read all the impacts because it's very significant and very amazing. Congratulations to Emily. Emily, who is our winner of our magazines this month, to... Tabby, who is the Coyote Deflators, and to Pamela Nelson, who is our Yukon Diff Covers. Um, I can't wait to tell you what our giveaway for February is next week. Plus, we'll be at King of the Hammers, so we'll have anybody and everybody around. Who knows what's going to happen next week on Live at 5, so you definitely want to be there. You know how that goes. But I will tell you one thing. I'll probably be in my nice, big, fluffy jacket. <laughs> ah, ah. All right. Oh, Pamela is just getting the memo. Hey, guess what? We're working on your build, girl. Yes, <clears throat> you now have fancy diff covers for your Toyota build. So congratulations. You were the... The one that says, I wanted it all. And well, guess what? You got the big, you get the big dog on this one. So congratulations to you. 
yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> and um, that's our Canada crew up there. So we got a lot of people all over the country. We have somebody from New Zealand participating and also Australia. Uh, so we got a lot going on, ladies. I am excited. If you guys missed it, if you came in and you missed Bogey coming in, uh, she was doing voiceovers earlier. Make sure you replay this because you don't want to miss that. I swear, I almost jumped out of my skin. And I even knew she was coming in. That was part of our plan. I just didn't know when. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a moment. <laughs> um, What else? Oh, Tamika's there now. So, Tamika... You won not a car, not a car, but our bragging bag for this week is a fully January moment of a BFG hammock, because of course you need a hammock, and you need a cup while you're in your hammock for your uh, Kool-Aid, as we called it, and we don't want you to get sunburnt, so we got you a Champa a Shampa hat. Yeah, yeah. So a Shampa hat, and I'm not just a girl cup, and a hammock is the brag and bag for this one, which goes along with our impact um, program, and February's impact is already up and running. So I will go right now and get the, the button back up for the resolution so all your friends can sign up for the resolution and start learning with you. And I think we should be good from there. I mean, I got like 800 other things to do before we leave for King of the Hammers. But as far as we're concerned, we're good. All right. Say your goodnights. I gotta go get to work. <laughs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. We did it, though. We did it. We made Monday's deadline. We got all the voiceovers done. We got live at five. We did the giveaways. Everybody's happy. Got the sweatshirts, jackets. Just a hundred more things to do. Yeah. Say your goodbyes. I'm just rambling at this point. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, everybody, you can't stay here. You got to go. <laughs> Oh, I love it. And uh, I look forward to seeing everybody at King of the Hammers. We are going to have a blast this year. It's going to be so much fun. All right. Really now, this time. This is the time. Kicking you out. We got to go. All right. Instagram just got kicked out. <laughs> All right. Facebook, you got to go. Ready? Are you ready? Okay, here comes the finger. <sniffs> Bye. See you at King of the Hammers. <laughs>